One of Northwest Arkansas's longest races took place this weekend, and UATV's Mary Kate, Mary Kate Carson gives us a look at how it affects the community. The Outback the Ozarks is the only race of its kind in the state of Arkansas, and this weekend I was able to talk to some of the runners that ran the Outback and learn about their experiences. 347, like it! The Outback in the Ozarks is a 200-mile running relay that begins in Eureka Springs and ends in Fayetteville. The race is run by groups of 6 to 12 people, and each runner will run anywhere from 2 to 8 miles at a time. Running at night, 2 o'clock in the morning runs under the stars. It's through the Ozark Mountains. It's beautiful. Just amazing. The organization had a small festival at the end of the finish line, where local businesses had booths available, there were performance by local bands, and other various activities. Outback Steakhouse provided food for the runners once they finished the race. I'm currently standing in Prairie Grove Battlefield State Park where the finish line for the Outback of the Ozarks is located. Now the runners that cross this finish line have just completed over 200 miles of trail and under as little as two hours of sleep. Now the significance of this race is not only found in the uniqueness of the course, but is also found from the benefits that it brings to Northwest Arkansas and the entire state as a whole. We have people all over the country that have come to participate, to come to the natural state, and it's actually put Arkansas on the map for trail running. Since beginning two years ago, the race has more than tripled. A lot of people like more of an adventure, and um, it's, it's a tough course. The race was featured in a recent issue of Trail Runner magazine, and it drew people from all over the country, including North Carolina, Chicago, and New York City. This is the, uh, I guess, an example of how Northwest Arkansas is growing and it draws lots and lots of people and uh, people are telling me they've moved here because of the trail system. So it's really a neat place to be. The Outback of the Ozarks is the one of the only races in the country that is ran primarily off-road and the only race in the country that runs through five state parks. Reporting in the studio, I'm Mary Kate Carson for Arkansas on Campus. The race donates to Hobbs State Park and to the Youth Bridge Foundation Northwest Arkansas Leading Center for Youth and Family Comprehension Care.